it's Ewan Colsell from Torino Synth Repair Lab and today we have a Roland TR727 which belongs to Luca. Hi Luca. Earlier on I took it out of its box and put it on the bench. So I'm triggering it from this external MIDI controller and as you can hear or you can't hear most of the sounds don't work. The bongos work, the congas don't work, the timbali doesn't work, the ogogos don't work, the kabasa and the maracas don't work either. But what we've got here, we've got the whistle works, and the kijada works, and the start and the start chime works. The TR727 has a couple of different sound generation circuits. So the ones that we have working are the The Kijada and the Star Chime, and they have their own, they have their own circuit, which correspond to the the ride and the crash on the TR707. So what do we have that's working? We've got the the bongo, the bongo, and the whistle. So that means the Gatorade chip, which is the which is the impossible to replace part of of this drum machine. That means it's working, or mostly working. So to find the problem, we have to find what what these sounds go through and, and what and what they do. The TR707 works pretty much like this. The sounds are stored on these two EPROM. This is the DAC, this is the gate array, and these are the demultiplexer and the multiplexer for the volume CV. What happens is the gate array sets the demultiplexer to the appropriate output, reads the sample data from the sample from the sample RAM, and sends it to the DAC. And the DAC sends the signal for that sample to the demultiplexer, which sticks it in a sample and hold. And then it goes to the main output. The envelopes are individually generated for each instrument, and then fed into another 4051 analog switch and they come out of here, and they are fed into the voltage reference input of the DAC. When the gate array receives a signal from the CPU telling it to play the bass drum, it sets the, the multiplexer to the right channel for the bass drum so that the control voltage for the volume will be fed into the voltage reference input of the DAC. And on the other side, it sets the output demultiplexer to the right channel for the bass drum. So the bass drum will be sent through the sample and hold to its individual output. So having a look around inside here, first thing I checked was the, the multiplexers because they're notoriously unreliable. But it wasn't the multiplexers, they're fine. So going up a bit further up the, the river, as it were, I got here these envelopes are shared between two quad op amps. They're TL064 op amps. So in part of my troubleshooting, I put them in sockets and since they're in sockets here, take them both out and switch them around. and see what happens. Something's changed. So I've got different sounds. So the obvious thing to do is try some new op amps. And there you go, it's fixed.